It might as well be Groundhog Day here in court with the same scene we saw last month. Aurora City Councilor Danielle Jurinsky arrived to give her piece about Robin Nicita, a former child welfare worker who was found guilty of calling in a fake child abuse claim against the councilor. But for the second time, Nicita's attorney did not make it to court, prompting another delay and scoffs in the courtroom. We were here for sentencing today. Unfortunately, Ms. Nicita's counsel um, is extremely ill and unable. <laughs> I will clear this courtroom. Don't think I won't. The judge let people speak anyway, including the head of the child welfare office where Nicita worked. Her actions have tarnished the image of child welfare professionals across the state. Jurinsky shared how the fake child abuse report and the investigation caused worry and stress. Since this was a setup and I didn't know by whom, I had to prepare for the worst. If I was arrested as an elected official, I knew I would be convicted in the court of public opinion by the time the five o'clock news hit. I started making plans to get my parents out of town, as well as how I would protect my businesses and my staff. This entire process has been nothing short of a circus. Outside, Jurinsky echoed what she said last month. She wants closure. This is lingering over my head, uh, knowing that this woman is, is out walking free. And I do believe if given the opportunity, she would try to hurt me or hurt my family. Um, it's nerve wracking. Outside of court, I encountered Nicita, who was allowed to walk free again, like the last time. She gave a no comment. We've done a lot of, you know, reporting on this case and we haven't heard anything from you. You will. Okay. I appreciate your time, though. And Nicita will be sentenced on April 12th, and the court will be assigning her a new attorney in the meantime. She has a whole other criminal case against her. That is still going to trial the same month of April. That's where she's accused of faking brain cancer to delay her criminal problems. She's accused of using downloaded MRI images to fool the court. We'll keep following her case again and again if necessary. Back to you. Yeah, the wheels of justice spinning slowly in this case. Yeah. All right, Jeremy. Thanks.